So finding where you fit on this governance continuum, as I call it, is hard. I said off the top, most people think about governance as just a boardroom. Well, governance flows all the way through your organization, and it also flows above your organization in the sports industry, whatever industry your sport happens to be in. A great board of directors empowers staff, volunteers, to really make the club great. The board of directors fundamentally has three jobs. So if you choose to run competitions out of your boardroom, fine, but that doesn't abscond you from looking after these three core fundamental things. When you sit on a board of directors, you actually have legal responsibility. It's a legally binding position. So what is fiduciary responsibility? Fiduciary responsibility fundamentally says there's also an element of a called proper purpose, which means you can't use the authority and power you have as a director for alternate reasons. At the end of the day, that's great to have those committees, but they should never be reporting to the board. There are essentially three what's called standing committees that your board of directors needs to have. Standing committees don't go anywhere. Now the operating committees don't report, they should not report to your board of directors. You keep the two very, very separate here. How do I monitor the executive function and gain reasonable assurance that things are going okay? And a lot of boards tend to micromanage. They tend to get in alongside the executive and do the work with them. So understand, there's an essentially um, a framework that I need you to understand to help you with this, okay? And it starts with the schematic. 